Okay, so some people were asking me, and Cropper was denying. Oh, I could tell the difference between my my sense perceptions and otherwise very easy. And it's weird because with the object of this, this is somewhere I actually overlap more than anywhere else with them, or could, except for their goals are different, see? You can say a lot of the same things like the bent stick, and you put it in the water, it looks bent. That's not how your sense is lying to you. That's your sense is reacting correctly to more things than just the straightness of the stick. There's also the physical properties of the water and light and everything. It all adds up to make it look bent. So, by the way, it turns out I got pneumonia. My flu turned into pneumonia, right? Or can it be pneumonia the whole time? I think pneumonia is opportunistic. It's all good news because now I've got amoxicillin and I'm going to get better. But anyway, here's the example. I was just going to talk about this example. Okay. It is hard to tell which is real or not. Look at the length of the side. Now, if you know about this illusion, then great, but it doesn't seem like you could know about this illusion and think that your sense perceptions are unquestionable. Um, this isn't just an ordinary optical illusion. Again, look at the link. The thing is, in the back of your eyes, there's a little spot that has no, no receptors because the optic nerve comes under the back of the eyeball there. So it doesn't have any receptors. And it's right in your field of view. Two spots. Now with both eyes open, of course, hey, this eye can see that part. It's a blind spot, and this one can see that eye's blind spot. But if, but if you close one eye, look at a fixed object, so you can get some other object into that blind spot. Very interesting things happen. Okay, so for example, on this page, you, you I always learn I learn this optical illusion where you draw a line yourself and do an X, and do uh, you know a plus or a circle or whatever you want elsewhere on the line. And then when you get it in your blind spot, what happens is the circle you've drawn over here disappears and looks like the line is discontinuous. Okay, this one they have a, a, a cross. Stare at the cross. You put the computer the right distance away. Then, uh, that's right, forgot to close my eye. Then um, it disappears. It looks like it's white. The second one, you have a red X, a black line, and a plus again. This time, it's amazing. You do not see the red. There is no red. It just becomes a black line. Okay, in the final one, they put a red X and a giant yellow dot. And you do that, and sure enough, it looks like there's no red X, just a yellow dot. So your brain not only has a blind spot, not only does it not make it dark, but it fills it in with whatever it thinks, you know, thinks is there. And you for sure get that as sense data. So nobody can tell me. Like the face in the cloud example should be good enough for you. You guys that want to see the point, I think. But this isn't one of those where people are confused about, well, do I think it's a real face? No, listen, y'all do see the automatic. But in this case, there's no way you can tell me you're thinking about that or could think that away. You can't think it away once you know that it's there. Your brain fills in the dark spot out of the visual system. It fills it in based on what the other eye can see, and if that doesn't see anything, then it's like, well, everything else there is white. It's probably just clear. It fills that in. And you get that just as sensibly as you get when it really is from reality being represented directly. So yeah, it can distort. I mean, I guess I'd call that a distortion if the eye... I mean, for it to not be a distortion, you should just have these two blank spots all, all the time. But it didn't work out like that. So yeah, I would call that a distortion to go ahead and take a red X right out of the middle of a yellow circle because you don't know what's there, but instead of putting a little black dot of not knowing, you just lay, it's probably yellow. Because the brain's a pretty practical thing. It's not that concerned about being right every single time. If it can make a guess 99 times out of 100, that's just as good. Better, even. 
than understanding so the, the deeper about what's going on. And I don't see if the eye is doing this for the blind spot, I don't see why we shouldn't think the eye is doing this all over our visual field. Because it is. You know, there's all sorts of, it's possible to look at these yourself, but there's all sorts of irregularities. Blotchiness, splotchiness, all sorts of basically camera effects. You know, problems. We have things floating in the fluid as we get older. We have parts we looked at the sun when we were kids. We have all kinds of irregularities that you have to do image processing on, really. And your brain does a ton of that image processing before your consciousness even gets to think about what it's seeing directly from the eyes or any other sense. Cheers.